Yeah, go ahead. My testimony and um, how I met my father starts um, four or five months ago now, something like that. Um, 29 now, and uh, I wasn't raised in a in a church. My family is not very religious, and um, it's not so much that I was ra- raised to be anti-religious. It's just I had no exposure to it at all. And just kind of the way you grow up, you just I just wasn't around it, and um, I didn't meet too many too many Christian people growing up, which I didn't realize was a sort of disadvantage until I met my father. Basically, I just got to a point last summer where I felt um, more alone than I ever had, more sort of uh, kind of overwhelmed by despair and and just defeat. I felt like my whole life I was like how Bud described being in a pit with a lion. I just felt like my life is, <clears throat> and not just my life, I just kind of assume that the way people live is they they find a way to deal with their struggles. They do the best they can and every once in a while something works for them and then they move on to the next challenge. And then basically, I just the way I thought everybody was living is just you're just facing some huge challenge, sometimes life threatening challenge, and you just got to overcome it. And then if you do, you're, good luck to you. If you don't, that's just life. And so I just, as an adult, getting to a place where I felt like there's no hope, and it's, my life is just kind of this endless struggle where um, I'm alone. And um, and not only that, there's no community around me. Everyone's kind of fending for themselves. And I felt like this can't be, this can't be, this isn't healthy for me to live. This can't be the way people are doing it. And, you know, maybe there is a community of people that got life figured out. And I just didn't know to be around them because I wasn't, uh, like I said, I wasn't raised in a church. But um, I kind of had this conversation with uh my girlfriend and we kind of both even had our own uh struggles with you know we're thinking about it and um without even talking to each other about it ahead of time we just kind of in one conversation said maybe where we need to go is the church maybe that's where we need to go and we at the time we had that conversation it just clicked because it was both it was on both of our minds and it just seemed like the logical place to go we just felt lost and we felt like there's something we're missing and we haven't figured out on our own and we need to see what it, what, what it is. So, um, so we did some searching on like Google and found a place on, we found the well on Yelp and we found the, their YouTube channel. And, um, right away we first video would click. It's, uh, it's uh, David Householder saying something about the, um, the wonders of the world. And he's describing what he sees when he sees the world. And he's saying it's amazing what um, God's created. And I couldn't even re- give you the specifics of what he said in that video, except it was just immediately like a light turned on. Like, there's this is what we're looking for. Maybe the community we're looking for is here. And... Um, you know, Lord knows we've tried everything else in our lives to make things work. And this is where we, we need to try. And so we went to church the next Sunday. And um, I mean, we felt we felt um, just like it was the best thing we did all week. We felt uh, sort of immediately healed. I felt like I was kind of... Um, A stranger, but not because people treated me like a stranger. I felt like I just, I was so um, not in my element that I didn't really, uh, you know, I kept to myself and everything. But regardless of that, I felt like it was such a positive impact on my week that I just couldn't not go a second time. And I just knew, knew that if I kept the habit going, it would only bring good things to me. And, um, and so it became, I, I just kind of 
continued to go out of habit and um, out of not wanting to to sort of follow the despair that uh, I was so used to in my life. And I just over time, over a short period of time, over a couple months, I just started to realize, um, you know, meeting God and, and reading the Bible and being around amazing people, I just started to realize <clears throat> um, how much more the world made sense. I felt better every day. I felt like I, I could see that I wasn't alone. And I could see that the sort of way of life through Jesus is kind of the only thing that makes sense. And I realized I wasn't alone and I wasn't fighting the a lion in a pit by myself. And, um, and, and uh, the, the, the journey for me has been amazing because I felt like I was trying everything I could my whole life. And then all it took was for me to just find faith. And it seems like every, every other battle is sort of, um, I feel far more equipped for every other battle since finding faith. And I don't think that finding faith has, has taken the struggle out of my life, but I feel equipped with, uh, I feel equipped in a way that I, I never was before. Yeah. Just, um, just seeing sort of the, the day as a blessing and, and, and recognizing the gifts of the day and and the wisdom of the Bible and the community of the church, my life's been changed by by finding my father. I sometimes kind of lament that it took me until I was an adult to find my father, but on the other hand, I realize some people they're on their deathbed or they're you know they're double my age, and I'm happy for them finding their faith. But I do feel like I guess I don't know. I feel like the timing was perfect, regardless of the time it took me to find my father. But um, it's been a blessing. It's been a blessing to come this far in my journey so far. Hey, Zach, can I um, ask you to share when you actually invited father into your life? Was there a, can you pinpoint that? When I joined shortly after I did the Alpha course on Wednesday nights, Mm -hmm. And one of those days was like Holy Spirit Day, sort of ceremony on that day, inviting the Holy Spirit. But um, and David was there for that. He did it. But I'm not sure what day that was. That may have been a couple months ago. If there's any specific day, it's, it was probably it was probably then. On the Alpha Course. Yeah, the Alpha Course. That was transformative too. Because there's so much I I wasn't I just didn't know, and there's still of course I still have a lot to learn. But um, the Alpha Course was pretty pretty transformative. Getting to participate in that early on. Beautiful.